Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome into Chicago Bears Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Harrison Graham. Lots of draft rumors to dissect, especially at the wide receiver position on today's videos, the NFL Combine. You know, it's kind of player press conference day as we're hearing from a lot of the top players in this year's draft. So, Chris Olave, a name that we've talked about quite a bit on Bears Now. Is there going to be a reunion in Chicago between Justin Fields and his college teammate Chris Olave? I'll go to Smoking Jays. I think it's possible. People are talking now. If it's just for the number 39 pick, I'd go one smoking J on that, meaning that's unlikely, but maybe the Bears could trade up. Chris Olave uh, spoke a lot today about uh, his draft process, the Chicago Bears specifically, Justin Fields even more specifically, which gets me fired up. I don't know about you guys. Had his press conference today in Indianapolis, spoke a lot about Justin Fields. Obviously, there's the connection between those two at Ohio State. Now, we've talked about this. Olave is projected to be a first round pick conceivably could he fall to 39 yes I don't think it's likely but I think it's possible maybe the Bears make a trade they move up into the first round maybe they trade up on draft night into round one things could happen for Chicago if they are dead set on trying to get Chris Olave now here's what he had to say on the possibility of reuniting with Justin Fields he said oh yeah definitely having him in college as my quarterback I know what he can do on and off the field and I know how hard he works I feel like we're very similar in ways and I feel like we can complement each other if we do end up on the same team. Justin is a great player, great dude, and I can't wait to see his career take off. We'll talk about this more, but just I get fired up reading that quote here in Chris Olave today. Just type me if you want if you want Chris Olave to be a Chicago Bear. I know I do. I'm not saying I would trade up to 15 to go get him, but if he's there in the late 20s, early 30s, I might have to consider it. Type me if you want Chris Olave to be a Chicago Bear. I think it would be absolutely fantastic. I would lose my mind if this happened. If the Chicago Bears reunited Chris Olave with Justin Fields in Chicago, I think that would be tremendous. Now, with only five draft picks and other needs, you can't force it, right? Like, I'm not trading a future first again, I don't think, to get Chris Olave. But if he slides a little bit, certainly if he's there at 39, it's a no-brainer. But if he falls into the mid-late 20s, early 30s, maybe you start thinking about it then as well. This is a guy that is a polished route runner. He's got elite speed. He's a deep threat. He fits exactly what the Bears want to do on offense moving forward. Oh, and by the way, he's got the chemistry with Justin Fields. Look at the numbers in college. A lot of that production was with Fields as his quarterback. You see these guys here celebrating after a touchdown uh, during Fields last season at Ohio State. These guys know one another. They get along. They're buddies. They have chemistry on the field and off the field. And that that's that's you can't replicate that at least not instantaneously. Like they've already got that in place. Uh, that you know that kind of you know, erases some of the off-field reps that you need with the new quarterback. You draft him, it's like, well, you can skip, you know, the introduction induction phase, right? It's like, hey, let's just pick up where we uh, left off, uh, you know, just over a year ago. So I like uh, that aspect of it as well, and I just like the player. Chris Olave is a damn good receiver, and I think he's going to be a good player for a long time. And, you know, we, we continue to talk about it, and we'll talk about a couple other draft receiver prospects momentarily, but – you know, what's tr what's been true all offseason is that after Darnell Mooney, the, a lot of uh, question marks at receiver. Allen Robinson, I don't think he's coming back. Uh, you know, maybe that changes, but I don't think so. You know, does Daz Newsom get involved this year? Do you bring back Jakeem Grant? I'd be open to that, but he's a number three at best, probably a number four, more of a gadget guy. Goodwin, Bird, eh. You know, we'll see if one of those guys returns. But either way, you need better receivers, and uh, Chris Olave certainly is just that. Is Olave your dream draft target? Type Y for yes, type in for no. Is he your top guy? Is he your dream draft target for the Chicago Bears? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section right now. Now it is St. Patrick's Day month coming up September, uh, March 17th, excuse me. Uh, hey, it's a big holiday in Chicago for you Chicago natives. And, you know, with COVID kind of, you know, maybe it's not completely over, but it's certainly in the rearview mirror at this point. People are going to be out and celebrating. And you guys can represent with some Bears uh, St. Patty's gear, that Justin Fields tee looking good, different T-shirts as well. Pick one up today, chatsports.com slash Bears Green. 
on sale, 25% off all this gear for a limited time only. Hey, if you got a girl, get her a little uh, pullover jacket as well. It's certainly still cold in Chicago. Chatsports.com slash Bears Green. Spring is upon us, and so is St. Patrick's Day. Okay, let's keep it moving here on today's Bears Rumors Roundup NFL Draft Edition at the Combine. How about draft Jahan Dotson at number 39 overall out of Penn State? We've talked about him as well. Also, two smoking Jays. At 39, that's more likely than Alave. But I think in terms of likelihood overall, I think Alave and Dotson are on about the same playing field because I think the Bears would probably have a little more overall interest in Alave. He would just be a little harder to maintain. Uh, Dotson also spoke uh, to the media, had his little press conference at the uh, Combine as well. He actually revealed he's already met with the Bears. They met on day one of the Combine on Tuesday after he arrived. Speedy wide receiver, electric after the catch, really good playmaker. Uh, and uh, I think he's more of a guy that is more likely to be there at number 39. Maybe he sneaks into round one, depends on how he tests and how these other receivers do as well, but I think there's a better chance he falls to 39 than a guy like Chris Olave does. And Ryan Pohl said yesterday during his uh, uh, press conference at the Combine, uh, he said, look, we want playmakers. And, uh, you know, Jahan Dotz and Chris Olave, these guys are playmakers. If you can get one of these guys, that is obviously a, uh, a game changer right away, in my opinion. I'm not saying they can walk in the door and be a number one NFL wide receiver, uh, but can they come in, make plays, and, uh, you know, get separation and uh, create some big plays on your offense? Yeah, I think that's absolutely the case. And, uh, you know, they're different type of players. Dotz and more of that electrifying guy that uh, maybe he doesn't have the full route tree, but you give him the ball in space, you send him on deep routes, he can certainly make things happen. He's a four-year guy at Penn State uh, that uh, grew each and every year, and uh, the production uh, showed just that. In 2020, he easily would have had a 1,000-yard season if that wasn't a COVID-reduced year. Had a big year uh, in 2021 here with 12 touchdowns. You know, got that early playing time as well and just uh, grew from that moment and beyond. And also what Dotson offers is uh, returnability, especially as a punt returner. Penn State kind of selectively used him in his career as a punt returner, just 25 total returns. But when he did get utilized on that front, uh, you know, 13 and a half yards average, had a touchdown as well. Uh, he is certainly uh, someone who can make an impact on special teams also. This would be a good pick at 39. Uh, I, I like Chris Olave more, but uh, just because of the built-in chemistry, and I think he's a little more polished. But Jahan Dotson at 39 would be would be a good selection. If we if you told me today that's who the Bears would get, I'd be happy with it. B plus A minus selection. I think it would be very very good. Now David Bell is another name we've talked about a little bit here on Bears. Now there's been a lot of connections with the Bears uh, and Bell because he played at Purdue. He talked today. He said he hasn't met with the Bears yet. Uh, I do expect that'll happen though. Did say it would be intriguing to play with Justin Fields, uh, said he's watched Fields a lot when he was at Ohio State. I think this is another guy to keep in mind at 39. Uh, unlike uh, Olave, more like uh, Dotson, he could probably fall to 39 potentially. You probably wouldn't trade up for Dotson or Bell, whereas you might consider it with Chris Olave. Uh, David Bell would also be a good selection, a little bit different type of receiver, not you know quite as quick twi twitchy. I think he'll run better than people expect, uh, but he's not a flat-out burner per se. Uh, uh, compared to a Jahan Dotson, at least I don't believe. We'll see what the 40 times suggest. Uh, but he's a guy who can high point the ball, run good routes, and uh, make contested catches. All right, pick an option here. We talked mostly about Dotson and Olave, so I'll focus on these two. Would you rather just keep the 39 overall pick and draft Jahan Dotson? Type JD if you would want to go that route. Or would you be open to trading up for Chris Olave? Now, I'm not saying trading up 20 picks. Maybe how about trade up to like 30? back end of round one, uh, type CO. Which would you rather do, knowing that if you go the Alave route, you're going to have to give up a, you know, some kind of draft compensation, maybe a player or something like that? Which option would you rather go if you'd rather stay at 39 and draft Dotson, type JD? Uh, if you want to trade up for Chris Alave, you can go ahead and type CO. All right, Bears fans, subscribe to us here. Chicago Bears now the number one Bears channel on YouTube, uh, at least the fastest growing. There's no doubt about that. Uh, if you've already subbed, type Bear down. If you haven't, subscribe and then type Bear down uh, if you want to let us know that you have subscribed or already have. We would appreciate it. Get those Bear Downs flowing. Hit that subscribe button. More Chicago Bears news and rumors videos to come here on a daily basis. All right, one more story here, and then we will uh, wrap it up. Ryan Poles is high on Justin Fields. 
Four smoking Jays. The irony is perfect for this one. Uh, he's puffing high on Justin Fields. Uh, I'm kidding. It's just a pun on words. It's all fun. Uh, Daniel Greenberg, Shy Sports Update. Uh, I couldn't find the direct quote, but he kind of paraphrased here. Ryan Poles hopped on NFL Network and uh, said he really believes Fields is the guy at quarterback for the Bears. Uh, Poles said uh, he saw a lot of flashes when watching film on uh, – Fields said he can't wait for Fields to start working with Luke Getze, who, of course, is the new offensive coordinator. Uh, we've talked about this a lot. I I've told you guys there were a lot of positive flashes for Fields last year. Uh, I just think that with better coaching and better talent around him, he could be unleashed. I think he could be in that most improved kind of uh, category in the NFL. Do they do most improved player of the year in the NFL? I don't think they actually do. It's a popular NBA award. The point being, he could be – he could go from, you know – below average rookie season to like a top 15, top 20 quarterback. I think that's possible. I really, really do. Uh, if Getze is what we think he is, if this uh, front office gets enough pieces on the offensive line and the wide receiver uh, position groups uh, moving forward, that certainly uh, would help. Obviously, it starts up front. You got to win in the trenches. You, this group has to be better. We'll see where, where Tevin Jenkins plugs in. This is certainly a very loose depth chart. We don't know how this regime is going to uh, view this unit. I expect a lot of change here. We've talked about wide receiver. We talked about it earlier. We'll continue to talk about it. You got to get guys uh, beyond Darnell Mooney as well, whether it's, you know, guys like Chris Olave or Jahan Dotson in the draft or, you know, a guy or two in free agency. You kind of improve those positions. Uh, I think you're going to be in a good spot. And I'm excited to see Fields work with Luke Getze. I think his uh, philosophies will mesh better uh, with Fields. I think he'll be more open minded to kind of designing an offense around what Fields does best. That is not what Matt Nagy did. He was very much a here's my system and you plug into it uh, type of guy and uh, that doesn't work, especially when you have a young quarterback who is still learning as uh, how to play in this league. So I think Getsy will be better in that regard and uh, I'm excited to see how it all comes together. I'm also excited about next season. Now I'm excited for free agency, all that stuff to come in the next couple of months, the draft as well. But I can't wait to see these guys lace it up again in September, August for the preseason. If you're excited, uh, let me know. Scale from 1 to 100. Uh, 1 being you're not excited at all. This team is cheeks. 100 if you are fired up for next season. I'm in like the 90s, man. I want to see uh, what happens in the offseason and how this roster comes together. But I am fired up. I'll give it a 95. Let me know how excited you are for next season. All right, guys, uh, jam-packed show today. Appreciate you for tuning in. If you made it this far in the video, follow me on Instagram. You can slide my DM and say, hey, I made it to the end of the video. I would appreciate it. Also, we're like 50 followers away from 2,500 on IG. Once we cross that milestone, I promised I would do another Instagram Live Bears Now edition. So uh, you can be looking forward to that. Help us cross 2,500, and we will do that uh, shortly after. At HGramNFL on Instagram, and we'll see you next time here on Bears Now.